Jarvis, you there? At your service, sir. Engage heads up display. Check. Jarvis is Iron Man's most powerful ally. It's what makes Iron Man one of the strongest Avengers. Without Jarvis, Iron Man is a smart guy in a cool suit with a jetpack and blasters. On the surface, Jarvis seems like he plays a similar role to the classical tactical sidekicks that we see in movies and games like Batman's Alfred or Solid Snake's Autogon. But he's much more than just a sidekick. So let's talk about the origin of Jarvis, the similarities with Batman's Alfred, the AI's capabilities and its evolution throughout the MCU. If you're new to this channel, I make commentary videos about movies, video games and pop culture. So make sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell notification icon for more of this stuff. Jarvis, drop my needle. The name Jarvis is actually based on a real person named Edwin Jarvis. Not real as in real for us, but real in the uh, in the Marvel Universe. Though sometimes I'd like to think that the Marvel Universe is real. I imagine Spider-Man is swinging around delivering pizza. Pizza time. Our man is flying somewhere, saving the world. And Hulk and Black Widow are getting it on like it's Bangtown, USA. I keep forgetting that she's dead. Edwin Jarvis was the butler and ally of Tony Stark's daddy, Howard Stark. He was also a character in the show Agent Carter. When you're not humiliating him, that fellow up there is my butler. Edwin Jarvis. You probably haven't heard of the show Agent Carter because most of you didn't watch the show. Over the years, Edwin Jarvis served as a support figure to Tony Stark when he was a kid until he eventually passed away. So Stark named his AI system Jarvis as a sort of tribute to his butler Edwin Jarvis. What was that? Oh, I almost forgot. It looks like it's time for... It's trivia time! <laughs> It's trivia time, boys and girls. <laughs> Here's a little trivia for you. Initially, Edwin Jarvis was supposed to appear in the movie Iron Man 1 as Tony Stark's butler, but Jon Favreau changed the character to avoid confusion between Jarvis and Batman's butler, Alfred Pennyworth. That's it for trivia time, boys and girls. Thank you for joining. Now, Jarvis also stands for just a rather very intelligent system and is modeled after Iron Man's AI system named Homer from the comics. So as you can probably tell, Iron Man and Batman are pretty similar. They're both extremely rich, very tech savvy, and super smart. And there are some similarities with their sidekicks as well. Alfred has a military background, knows a lot about computers, has tactical knowledge, and knows medical techniques to help Batman when he almost dies for the millionth time. Although Jarvis has similar capabilities, Jarvis is an AI system, making him far more resourceful than Alfred. And is in my opinion one of the main reasons why Iron Man is easily one of the strongest Avengers. Now, Jarvis Jarvis's AI has a lot of capabilities. The AI helps Tony with his tech projects, helps him build all his suits, can run tests, monitors both the suit and Tony's health, can control the Iron Legion, which is a group of Iron Man's suit of armors, used as a sort of combat support team whenever he needs some backup. Jarvis also helps run Stark Industries and provides security for Tony Stark's mansion and Stark Tower. So Jarvis is also kinda like a bouncer, but instead of guarding a small dingy nightclub, he's guarding a mansion and has control over dozens of Iron Man suits. Jarvis can also use holograms to reconstruct a crime scene, track people's locations, and analyze alien artifacts. Jarvis can do almost anything, anything combat related. He's not exactly gonna do your homework. I think that was the worst one I've ever done so far. Jarvis was later destroyed by Ultron and the remains of his code were found by Tony Stark, who then uploaded his code into a synthetic body made of vibranium and added an infinity stone, which eventually gave birth to who we know as Vision. This led to the role of Jarvis being replaced by the AI system Friday, which has the same capabilities as Jarvis and stands for Female Replacement Intelligent Digital Assistant Youth. Pretty catchy, has a nice ring to it. Friday is isn't exactly like Jarvis though, because Tony is always upgrading his AI system's capabilities. For example, as we saw in Civil War, Friday can analyze his opponent's attack patterns, which I don't believe was something Jarvis could do at the time. Analyze his fight pattern. Scanning. <gasps> Countermeasures ready. Let's kick his ass. If you guys like this kind of content, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon for more of this stuff. And consider supporting me on Patreon as well. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. Peace out.